Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today we're going to be unboxing month two of my Alpaca Direct subscription box. So if you remember, month one, we got these balls of Adrophil Knit Coal. And I told you it's got a very squishy, soft feel to it. We got three balls of this. It's 50 grams, 100% merino superwash wool. Um, the color number is 53. Um, still really want the pink and purple one, even after working it. We got a pattern for um, mittens with a flip top, so it's fingerless glove convertible mittens. A set of multicolor um, coated light bulb stitch markers. A pattern for a cowl. Um, the total box value was $46.53. The price of the subscription box is $34.95 before tax and shipping. So this is the cowl that I made. I still have not blocked it. Unfortunately, I ran out of time to get it washed and dried, but that's the texture to it up close. I love how this turned out. This flew off my needles. I just realized that it's kind of got a sideways, darker, lighter side, which is kind of cool. Um, I guess that's the first ball because that goes almost. Um, I only used one and a half balls to make the cowl. So I actually have enough left over to do another project. I have not had time with the other projects on my list to go back and figure out what I want to do with it, however. But I like the yarn quite a bit. Um, it's very nice to work with. Once this is um, soaked and blocked, this is going to be very beautiful and drapey. Um, it does have a little bit of a tooth to it, which is natural for wool to have a little, but it's not itchy at all. It's um, very, very soft, very, very light. I love the jelly bean color effect. I love how the short color changes and repeat color changes worked into the fabric. It's almost regularly irregular. Um, so I really enjoyed that. I was very, very happy with how that turned out. Now that goes in my, <laughs> uh, they do also reduce the, their shipping weight by shipping in mailing bags and a plastic bag, which is fine by me. Um, so overall we had a 25% savings, 25% savings on last month's box. This month, I found out something cool and we went a very different route. So inside my mailing bag was this big old nylon bag, big old. It's a very nice sized project bag. It does have their marketing information. This is a little bit nicer than I would expect to get free at a conference. So it's not quite giveaway zone. It's a little bit nicer. Um, it's still in that five to eight dollar range for me i don't think this has a very high value um but i did give it a five dollar value for the purpose of estimating the box um it's got a nice ring here that you can clip your stitch markers onto or your keys if you're going in for a knit night it's got a place where you can i frequently take water bottles with me so for me that's a water bottle pouch but you know you might have your your a tube case for all your hooks and needles. I don't know uh, what you want to put in there. Um, and this is a really nice size bag. It would hold basically anything but a worsted weight to bulky weight sweater or a blanket. But it would definitely hold like the yarn if you're starting a baby blanket, shawl, um, you know, any of your smaller variety projects. So once again, it was $34.95 for the box before taxes and shipping. And I realized it is, and this is one of y'all's comments. This is why I love you guys so much. It's unfair to judge the box with shipping and taxes, but none of the prices I give you for the other item, the by item breakdown include taxes and shipping. So I will no longer be using taxes and shipping as part of my um, weighing the price on these things. So the yarn we got this month is Sueño by Haiku. And we got this gorgeous 
gorgeous. I mm, so it's reading a green undertone gray from what I can see on here, but it reads almost more olive with an undertone gray in person. Um, this color is evergreen. Um, I would definitely say it's green, not gray, but okay. It's showing up more green back here. Um, and then we also got natural. So this is really unusual color palette to get for the spring. It's not, or, uh, it's not, I don't want to say it's not seasonally appropriate because I would still totally wear this for spring, but it's a different, different kind of thing. So this yarn is 100 or is 80% superwash merino, 20% viscose from bamboo, which makes it excellent to continue into the spring, early summer, especially if you have very mild springs. Um, bamboo is a very breathable fabric. Wool is, believe it or not, a very breathable fabric, even though it is warmer. Um, it does breathe just like cotton, bamboo, and linen. It just also has a little bit more um, insulation to it. Um, so I would say this is definitely a great choice of yarn to have while we still have cooler evenings, slightly warmer days. This is a beautiful yarn to actually have for the springtime. The colors are a little bit odd for spring, but I'm okay with that. The pattern for this month is very interesting though. So the name of it is Mossy Groot Cow. And I think that is exceptionally pretty. I'm actually quite looking forward to knitting it up with these colors. Um, see if there's another picture of it where I won't expose the pattern. So one of the cool things I realized is when you have a slight, there's not another picture in here. When you have a slightly more difficult pattern or a pattern that has uh, more intermediate to advanced with them, they actually do video tutorials to walk you through techniques. I actually think that's pretty cool. Uh, apparently, they there was a video tutorial to match the gloves. Since I didn't do those last month, that wasn't an issue. It was just the written pattern for the cowl. And a lot of their previous patterns are available once you join the club. So you have access to their pattern library after the fact, which I think that is pretty awesome as well. Um... So the yarn is $16 a hank. What well, didn't hear my doorbell ring, but somebody's at my front door. I guess that's my Amazon package being delivered. Um, I was just joking last week about Amazon messaging me constantly. Now it's my doorbell telling me Amazon's here. Um, yeah, so everywhere sells this for $16 a hank. This is another one of those. That's just the price of it. Um, so across the board from webs to alpaca direct, webs to alpaca direct. Wow. I am having issues with speech today. This is the fourth video I filmed in a row. And I think my brain is just like, dude, um, yes. $16 universally, every website I went to, with the exception, ironically, of Alpaca Direct, who has it on sale right now. Uh, as of filming this, it's on sale for $12.50, I think. Um, these are 100 gram Hanks, and this is by Scassel. Uh, it's the same company that does Addy Needles. Yep, yeah, still going off. 100 grams, 255 yards. Recommended needle size is three to seven. From Haiku Peru Collection, Sueño means dream in Spanish. Created by Cat and Pecos. Made in Peru. Distributed by Scassel. Yeah. I actually hadn't noticed the other information on the tag. Um, obviously, I was playing with this and squishing it yesterday when I got it in the mail. Very excited. So I will be making the pattern. Looking forward to that. So $16 per hank times two, $32. 
The bag, like I said, I'm giving it a $5 value. It's one of those, it has value, but... And then I did the same thing I've been doing with all of the patterns recently and going out finding very similar patterns, averaging the price together, only looking at paid for patterns. Um, so this very similar um, striping with the... Um, there's a couple techniques in this I don't want to give away. <laughs> but with similar techniques in construction to this shawl, cowl, scarf, thing um using very similar techniques and striping patterns the average i came up with for the price of patterns after looking at six paid for patterns was seven dollars and 26 cents so that made this box come out to 44 dollars and 26 cents however i forgot to do my um percentage to see what that means um so i'm saying it's probably between 20 right around 20% savings because it's $2 off from last month. Um, or it's valued at $2 less than last month's box. And last month was 25% savings. So yeah, general math, those things. Um, yeah, so the box is $34.95. The value of this box is $44.26. I'm not unhappy. I'm not as excited as I was about last month, but I was just really in love with the colors of <laughs> that yarn. It was just very exciting to work with. Um, we are getting back into a neutral palette here, which is something I will actually wear a lot more often. So I'm very, very excited about that too. Um, yeah, I, I can't say so far I'm unhappy so far. I feel like I'm getting a decent value. Um, they do make it to wear if you want to, I, and, um, the knit call was on sale. Uh, when we received our boxes last month, they had that on sale for about the same price as what you were paying if you got the subscription box. So if you want to purchase more of the yarn, Alpaca Direct seems to be selling the yarn monthly at about what they're selling it for or get the discount amount you're getting in the subscription box. So as you're exposed to these new yarns, you have the opportunity to purchase them at about the same rate, which is similar to how Knit Crate has done the uh, membership rewards where you can go in to Members Central or whatever they call it and anywhere from 20 to 50% discount on the yarn. Most of your yarns through Knit Crate are 50% off for the membership crate. I've never had the sock crate, so I don't really know about that. Um, so when you go in to purchase extras, if you want extra yarn, you're not having to pay the full price of $25 a skein or $32 a skein or Hank per amount. Um, you're able to purchase it closer to what you're getting at the subscription rate, which I actually really like. There have been a number of yarns that I have gotten so far that I wish I'd had the opportunity to purchase them at the reduced rate. Um, the Bo Peep yarn that we got the first month with Crochet Society was absolutely gorgeous to work with. That's the kind of yarn I would have purchased had it been... Um, a comparable price when I found it, if it had been domestic. Um, shipping for that was going to be a little bit much anyway. Um, like I said, Knit Crate has always done that kind of thing. There was another box I had gotten where really, oh, it was one of the really bad Jimmy Bean boxes. <laughs> um, it was one, the one of the ones that was a no, it wasn't the sampler one. It was the first one that I did before they changed the way they do their uh, knit box. Um, I can't remember if it was a Plymouth yarn or a Cascade yarn. Um, one of the colorways that was in that ripple scarf, the, the Vaseline glass color, the green. <laughs> Nobody probably even remembers me reviewing that box last December, but um, that colorway in particular if that had been on sale for an adjusted price. Like I said, I didn't even break even for the Jimmy Bean boxes. But, um, you know, if it were like this where you're getting 15 to 20% or 20 to 25% off, um, that's a colorway I probably would have bought a substantial amount of because that yarn was really, really nice. I really like the yarn. 
um, is didn't like the value of that subscription box. This one, you know, once again, I feel like I'm getting a decent value so far. I've been very happy. I'm actually kind of excited to see what they do next month because I mean, we're in the South. It's going to be Easter. We're already 70 degrees here today. Um, the sun's starting to go down. It, it's normally I film first thing in the morning and I, it's now like seven o'clock at night. Um, so the, it's turning to dusk outside as you watch from show and tell 28 and the three following videos after that. I'm not sure what order they're going to go in now. Um, you'll watch my lighting completely change. Even I, I did change shirts this time. So you didn't have like 900 videos of me looking the exact same. Uh, even I'm getting creeped out by the like three videos in a row with me in the same shirt. <laughs> It's like, but, uh, yeah, I did change shirts, but I filmed all four videos today. Um, so as you watch the videos and the lighting change, it started with a little bit of glow on this side from my window to like, now it's this weird hyper contrast with my, uh, daylight bulbs and my ceiling fan over here. Um, I don't. Aside from little, like, quick segments, I don't think I've ever filmed this late. It's kind of fun. So, something different. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting a value so far in this box. I am not opposed to either of the yarns that I got. Love the colors from last month. I really like the neutral palette for this month. I really, the yarn is something very, very nice. Um, it's... The bamboo definitely feels different than nylon wood in this kind of, like, 20% nylon, 80% merino. A lot of sock knitters know exactly the combination I'm talking about. Um, the viscose is a little bit stiffer in here, and you can feel the viscose content. It's not as satiny as nylon, but if you've ever worked with bamboo fibers before, you know how much they soften and just add a it's like linen over time it just softens beautifully it turns into a very um, buttery yummy texture so this is going to be a very nice texture especially after it soaks gets worn the fibers get worn in a little bit um i don't know if any of you guys ever took a sheet of notebook paper and just kept rolling it up crumpling it up rolling it up crumpling it up um unfolding it rolling it again and basically turn your paper into suede. Is it in like middle school? I don't know why we did that, but we did. Um, it's got, it, it works like that where you start with this very stiff piece of paper and then end up with this buttery sheet of what feels like fabric. Um, I don't know how else to compare bamboo like that. It just breaks in very nicely and is incredibly nice in a finished object like that. So I am looking forward to working this up. I'm looking forward to seeing how this works on the needle. And I definitely think that's a very pretty pattern. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what the video holds because I just got the link saying that the video was live. And I do like the fact that they, um, give you that extra, they don't spend the money to do it every pattern and for every month, but because of the variation of the skill level, like the cowl was very beginner friendly. The gloves are definitely an intermediate. I'm excited that when you're getting to intermediate and advanced techniques, there are videos available, not just the written patterns. So to me, that's a, it's a quality point for the company as a whole. Um, one of you guys said that you actually live around the corner. I'm kind of jealous because I kind of like to meet the lady whose shop this is because pretty spectacular. Um, before I sign off, um, a number of you guys had given me um, suggestions of boxes to try. Um, once again, uh, I've lost my big list, my master list, over time. I am trying to rebuild my master list. 
I would love to know what you would like to see next. We only have one more month with Alpaca Direct. So next month I will need to place my order to start in May for my next box. So if there's a box in particular you'd like to see, if there is a style of yarns, um, you know, like I've done a lot of luxury recently with Mountain Meadow Wool and um, Alpaca Direct. We're in that stepping up area. Um, if there's something that's, you know, if you'd like to see Annie's, Mary Maxim, if that, that's really what you prefer to see next, let me know. Um, I did find another bi-monthly subscription box that is definitely higher end luxury fibers. And I don't mind continuing that, but I don't know just how slow I've been working through things, um, between cows, um, specific projects, um, things like that, that I'm trying to get through. I don't know if I'm going to maintain right now the two boxes at the same time. Um, cause I still haven't had time to do the cow for Mountain Meadow Wool yet. Um, but I might continue doing that later on. Um, maybe, you know, starting in August, I might do it, you know, as a two year, that'll be my two year vlog anniversary and my 30, how old am I? 37th birthday. <laughs> um, so, you know, you know, celebrate the month of August. I might, you know, pick it back up for August or August, October and December. Um, something like that. But for the monthly boxes, I would like your input on what we do next. And we've got one month to figure it out. And I do write down the suggestions that I get. I just misplaced my list. I've got the really old list on here that I already filled out, did all the ones that were originally mentioned. Um, we had a lot of repeats. So if you guys uh, comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see next. If you guys have uh, worked with the Sueno yarn, I'd love to hear that. If you've ordered from Alpaca Direct or know anything else about the company as a whole, I'd love to hear that too. I enjoy learning information. And for these, I tried to go in as blind as possible. So I don't have a preconceived notion beyond what you'd see on, you know, like something like Darn Good Yarn. They're, they're all over Facebook and Instagram. It's hard to miss them. Um, but I do try to go in blind to these companies because I don't want my personal opinions to skew the quality of the box, whether it be positive or negative. And I mean, let's be honest, a lot of us go in blind when we get subscription boxes. We don't know a whole lot about them. So leave me a comment down below if there's something you would like to see. Um, as always, I am more than open to receiving emails, Instagram messages, comments, letting me know what you think. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. I'm not sure which day this is going live now. So wherever we are in the week. I hope it continues to be fantastic for you guys, and I will see you real soon. Bye.